Harvest Days, My Dream Farm. We begin. I play the game. We create a new game. As we wait patiently, it load. Uh, is that smoke there over between the two windmills? Are those like crafting stations and they're smoking because they're burning something? Burning wood? Burning coal? Adding to the in industry? The intro's over. Did three hours pass already? <laughs> Albino, no! I've been shot by your words! A Petri in the foreground. All right. Flirting. Medium skin tone. Hairstyle. We want ponytail, and of course we want it blue. I hunt for ponytail hairstyle. Let me let me turn our character a little bit. Eh, eh. Now we can see the back a little bit better. In case, aha! See, it's hard to tell that this is supposed to be ponytail here. But clearly it is. It also doesn't have any bangs though, and Jane certainly does have some bangs. These look a little bit like fancier Lego people, to be honest. And I'm turning her around. We need different. Most of these other ponytails are double ponytail, which isn't quite what I want. I want a singular ponytail, please. <laughs> this is big poof, which is cute, but still not what I want. We have this one. Is this the only one? The Playmobil characters! I cannot see it! You're right! Only 30 minutes in and we already in game? We we can't intro forever, slime! Just wait for the Tuesdays for the discussions. But hello, hi, welcome. Alright. We speed run the hairs. Ponytail? How are we supposed to be proper farming girl without our ponytail? How can we be Jane Deer without our ponytail? It looks like there's only the two hairstyles. This one, and then this one with the ponytail. So I guess we're going to grab this hair. We now go over to our eyes. She can make a piercing green, I'm gonna be honest. It looks a little bit horrifying with these green eyes. I'm going to just make them black. I guess we'll make them this eyes with a little bit of eyelash appearance. It's probably bad how often on Sundays I end up watching your stream while eating Taco Bell or McDonald's breakfast, huh? That sounds like it's very relaxing though at the same time. Just a nice, uh, the tradition to make? Nice. Oh, I can't think of the word. Habit? Not. Habit still isn't the right word that I'm looking for. Ritual. The summoning ritual. Where you eat Taco Bell or McDonald's and you summon my stream. There will be a day where you do not eat Taco Bell or McDonald's and then mysteriously I don't stream that day. There's a lot of eyebrow options. Looks kind of weird as hell without any. I like that you've got unibrows as a choice too. I like how powerful some of these eyebrows are as well. Like, look at this. Huge brow. I'm... Should we be powerful, Jane Deer? Oh. Look, these ones are even cool eyebrows because they got little cuts in them. Let's do singular cut big eyebrows. I'm ready. We've got these different mouths. They're so gonna go ee, ooh, yeah, meh, oh, eh, ah, ee, oh, hmm, 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 oh. What mouth do we do? I, maybe one of these little like tee hee. Sideways smiles. <laughs> Except then, Andrew, you post that email where it's like, ah, oh, now I want to do this mouth. <laughs> She's going to run around going, ah, me, ah, oh, wow, I'm farming. Let's farm. I'm ready to farm. It's watering time. 
They've also got a lot of powerful beards and mustaches. We're not going to give Jane Deere one. It, though, the, the mutton chops are um, pretty good. Is that gum or a tongue? That's up to you to decide. Also, Archon! Hi, Archon! Hello! Nah, give her mutton chops. All right. Okay. We'll give her some mutton chops then. She's powerful. Powerful Jane Deere. This is also shirt color. We'll give her purple. And then we've got animals. Dog. All caps. D&D is on break so I can watch the union mandated 15 minutes. Well, perfect timing to check out the animals. And Emily, hello, hi. Yeah, if you want orange, you gotta get the DLC, dude. You wanna be the cat? Well, we've got Bombay Cat, we've got Corgi, we've got American Wirehair, we've got Jack Russell, we've got Persian Cat. I'm gonna be honest, the cat faces here, like this cat face in particular, This cat has seen some shit. Cat, horrified and scarred. Literally Petri Cat. This one is not Petri Cat. I know that you look at Orange Cat and you go, ah, Orange, Petri. No, 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 Petri Cats are Calico Cats. They always will be, always have been. Then we've got Jack Russell, Persian Cat, Doberman, Maine Coon, Akita Inu, which by the way is kind of funny. All of their tails, none of them are really a poofier, fluffier look to them. So you've got Akita Inu, who just has a little spaghetti tail. Same with the Maine Coon, just single strip tail. By the way, hi Lawless, hello, hi. Petri is equal to orange. Not with the cat. You gotta have the calico cat. We've got British short hair. Yeah, I guess the engine can't do the floof. You'd think if they just made the tail a little bit bigger, maybe they had some puppeting, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, not mesh. I can't think of the word when you've got your little skeleton form for it and you're rigging that rigging character rigging maybe they had rigging problems in regards to tail if they added floof i don't know but then we've got a husky sphinx cat like then it's just pink german shepherd siamese cat labrador different colors now uh an armature might be what they call I'm going to assume you're right, because I've seen you doing the CGI skeletons and it's been a million years since I have. <laughs> Gang, thank you for the bits. Then we've got Corgi, other color. So now we're basically through to the same cats, same dogs, but in a different color variety. The options. Chat, what do we... What do we get? What kind of animal do we want? There's many choices here, but which one? The dogs have so much more detail. Yeah, I would say in a lot of the cases, they also have kind of better looking faces than the cats. I think the Maine Coon cat is the best looking one of the cats. I vote for Sphinx cat. You can't get a pink one that way. White cat. I think the white cat was the Persian, right? It seems like we have a lot of different votes for different animals here. There's Gray Maine Coon, Jack Russells are the best. I vote for Sphinx Cat, White Cat. <laughs> Get Bunny! Not an option. Maybe you can mod one in someday. Get the best one? Which one is the best one? No, you're right with rigging, but I don't think adding some flat planes to a bone would be too difficult. Well, it might be the case that 
when they, there's like clipping issues, if they turn their tail a particular way where it's skinny enough to be fine, but if they made it thicker, it would start clipping through something. I don't know. My brain automatically went to coconut from Nekopara after hearing Maine Coon, huh? Hmm. And Burklebork, hello, welcome. A corgi or Shiba? Do you have a randomizer that we could throw up? Is that a corgi? There's several corgis, Dagnardio. And hello, welcome. Maybe. Honestly, I kind of want to get the corgi because it feels like corgi is not usually a choice in farming games. So I like we've got this little guy available to us. Count how many options there are and use our random number generator. This is an option. I feel like this is taking a lot of time. Uh, we'll, we'll go with this. Make a poll. The poll is gonna be too split. There's too many options. Gray, roll the 20. All right, Gray, you get a pick. What animal are we choosing? Gray gets to pick. He rolled the deep. He rolled a natural 20. You got it, Gray. You stole the vote. I'm looking at Gray's messages to see if he even has said any animal suggestions. <laughs> and I don't think Gray has. Oh my god. And now here I am grabbing Gray out to be like, hey! Hey! You pick! And now Gray's probably panicking, going, why why did I roll the D20? This was a terrible decision. Shaking Gray violently now. And Fuzzy, hello, welcome. Oh fuck, I didn't want to choose any of them! Oh, oh, e, oh, ha, funny you know? Okay. There they are. Is this the only color variety we have of the Inu? As I'm flipping through, yeah. Man, why does the Akita only get one option? See, look, you're trying to get the D20s now. You, you roll the seven to steal it. You roll a six to steal it. You roll a four to steal it. You, you all are just guaranteed to not get to pick. You know what, too? We're gonna name the Akita after Gray because it was his pick. There you go, Gray. It's you now. You're the Akita Inu. We go on to the next pick. Dignified, alert, aloof. That's Gray. And then Weird Jane, dear. Yay! I guess we'll watch the prologue as well. You can see the story behind the farming world. Also, Cannibal Cake, hello, hey, welcome. I'll always remember my childhood summers in Dud's village. I loved visiting my uh, dad, father, grandpa, someone. Duda's village was a paradise surrounded by boundless, untouched nature. Look at it, the butterflies, the deer. I learned how to grow vegetables, nurture plants, fish in the river, and take care of our planet. As in every year at the end of the holidays, it was time to say goodbye to my beloved grandparents and return to the city. In the city, I grew up to become an adult. I cared for my urban garden with a lot of love. Honestly, I missed Duda's village a lot. On any given day while I was reading the newspaper, a piece of news caught my attention. Duda's uh, village was suffering the consequences of the rural exodus. The population had declined by 90%. To remedy this situation, the mayor was offering free housing in exchange for working for the resurgence of Duda's village. From that moment on, I started a new life. Oh look, there's a school bus behind us. Yay! Free housing? It's free real estate. Free housing? We're working. Oh, ain't no way. Is the music louder or is it just me?
That was kind of on the loud side. It should be better now that we're in-game, though. And now that we're in-game, I'm also going to comment that the way it kind of controls here and looks actually reminds me a heck ton of wobbly life. We're, we're wobbling. Except for farming. Like, I think these sound effects are even the same. Anyway, I open the door. Welcome. Oh. Welcome to my farm. That means Gray did this. We're literally a shithole. This is uh, bad signs for the future, isn't it? I shove the manure into my pocket. Hi there, Gray. He's normal today. I... Can I pet dog also? That click is really loud. I think I... We turn it down aggressively? Maybe that'll help. Oh, the music bar disappeared there for a moment. I know to Jane Deere, she is the one farmer I fear. On Sundays in her farms of sin, with her delightful apparent, she draws you in. Watch her closely as he seals your doom. And sell your soul to purchase a loom. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> Thank you, shy guy. For resubscribing for 30 months. Appreciated. Bark, bark, woof. The, the TTS, yeah, the TTS for moist is very accurate sounding. So if you get particular voice lines put in, it's really good. Wait, we could do TTS voices on our resubs? Uh, yup, you absolutely can. But fuck, I've been doing it wrong. And now you know. Hello, Jane Deer. Welcome to Dodo's Village. Here are five packets of radish seeds for you. Sow them in a few days and you'll have your first harvest. By the way, at 8 p.m., we have organized your welcome party in the village square. We'll celebrate your arrival with good music and fireworks. See you there. Now, normally I might go, nah. What was that? Was that the game sound effect? That sounded like a puh. Honestly, from the TTS, and I'm like, what? Huh? Gray is fucking loud. But what the hell, Gray? Gray is also now just thinking about how much he loves grass. Or loves me. Maybe that's the case. I'm coming back over. Hi, Gray. I need pet option. I don't know how to pet Gray. I'm sorry, Gray. Well. Oh. The gray is fucking loud. <laughs> Bork. Gray is heard from around the world. Mailbox, check your mailbox daily. Wow, I get mail. The, the problem here is that the sound effects group, I think, needs one for sound effects because we can adjust the footsteps. We can adjust the ambient volume. We can adjust the music. And then it's just overall sound. So if we want... The, the blips and the borks to be quieter. We have to just pump down the sound volume. Which honestly is still kind of loud. And then we're left with basically no music. And we won't be really hearing any of the quiet birds chirping in the background. But I guess that at least makes it so that the sound effects aren't super loud. There we go. And then we gotta till the fields. Oh, look, we got a worm out of it. Do you think Gray likes worms? Should we feed a worm to him and find out? Can we hold worm in our hand and hand it over to Gray? Can we dangle worm in Gray's face? I look at my inventory. I put worm in my hand. Gray, Gray, do you want this? Uh, well, that looks like a no. No worms for gray. Resource seed. 
See? Man, Gray is... Gray is so loud. Can we take him for a walk? Uh, walk? When does the gelding begin? I'm looking at Gray. He might already be gelded. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the bits, King. What do you do think gin power level? I think it most likely cosmic level. How did you get into my lab? <laughs> Just Terra standing behind GLaDOS. Both of them watching my stream here. GLaDOS didn't realize when Terra came in, though, and has turned around and is like, Whoa, who? Hmm? Maybe borks are part of ambient sounds. Just, just a thought, though. The problem is if we turn down our ambient volume, you, you hear those very faint bird chirping sounds? Yeah, I can barely hear them too. If we turn that down anymore, we basically kill any of our game audio because all we've got, no music playing, all we have are those birds chirping. And if I pump this down, which I can do, we can note that Sound effects? Still just as loud. We'll see if that mutes down the dog, but... Oh! <laughs> I tried to turn... hear them, so I turned up my volume and then your voice blasted my ears away. <laughs> oh no! Alright, come on. Bark, Gray. Bark. Wolf? Wolf? Oh, it's a- Oh, now you're quiet! But he is quiet most of the time anyway. Kill the birds! I, 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 I mean Venusaur! Could also kill the turtles here. That appear to be floating on the surface of the water. This turtle is also hanging out on a lily pad. Oh, and now Gray's just gonna lay down in the pond. All right. I guess I'll leave. Is this a beer bottle on the ground? All right. I pick up the bottles. Let me turn back up the ambient sounds. So we can hear... Barely hear the birds chirping. Yeah. This game's audio balance is, uh... Questionable. They they very much need an option to adjust these UI and various sound effects. But otherwise, it's okay. Looking at the birds. Hello there. Is this a Listerine bottle? Bottle of mouthwash just on the ground? Well, all right. I pull up my map. This also reminds me a lot of Pumpkin Days, by the way. Who? Huh? Who? Huh? I don't know where, uh, what any of these little markers are on my map. Let's just run over to town and start exploring, right? Uh, is there a mini-map option? I would love if there was a mini-map. Can I turn on mini-map? I don't think so, but I'm peeking over here anyway. Uh, nope. Oh, dance! Hold on. I'm doing it. I'm dancing. Look at me go. D don't look at my foot, though. Let me go ahead and censor that part. Don't notice that I was breaking it to break down. My grandma just came over to give me cough drops and medicine. Oh, that's wholesome, Emily. I I agree. I do also like the Yeehaw Turtle a lot. Is this the only dance I have? Yeah. If I just tap the dance button, I can essentially dab. Hmm. Hmm. Truly, I am a cool zoomer from the city. I continue running forward. This dance is illegal in seven states. 
I already snapped 47 picks, Kako. It is too late. Oh, no. Oh, can I borrow one of these? Oh, I can! This is immensely like... It most makes me think of the coin game, but again, it very much makes me think of Wobbly Life. Wee! Wait. Screech! Eh, eh, screech! Okay, break reverse, it says S. If I just right-click, I exit. Okay, great. I grab the litter. Right there, too. Don't miss this one. There's a lot of little litter trash. The people here don't care about their town very much, do they? You'd think they'd take better care of it with how small this town is, but apparently not. Anyway, all right, here we go to the general store. Screech, screech, and crash! I get off my scooter. Hello there, Je Oh, closed! A special event is taking place today. Don't miss it. I guess we're barred from being able to really explore and check places out because they're just gonna go, hey, we're throwing a welcoming party for you later, so we have to prepare for it. The Unity Asset General Store. I, I'm willing to give a simple farming life, harvest days, a break for their Unity Assets. Look, it's the Forest Service, not the police station. I, I guess it does say police there on the side, too. It's the Forest uh, Service, so if you're not a forest, they don't help you. Sorry about that. Open. Oh, I can put down one of my houses here. I could buy this property. It could be mine. Have a nice town. Hang on, in the background, do you see that? Guy with cows. I want to get back on my scooter. Drive. Drive. Dang it. I think I've ruined my scooter. I don't think I can get scooter now. Because buying plot land is taking precedence. Dang it. Alright, I have to abandon scooter because I can't get it now. Well, hello there. Oh, he's got a unibrow. A David! I like your hat and suspenders. A stranger? Hello. Is that all he has to say? Uh, okay, David. Well, bye, David. Yeah, just buy the property to get rid of the sign. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Aw, oh, dude. That person's house has a basketball hoop on the frame. Do you think I can steal their car? I'm also getting distracted. Apparently, I can break this rock. Hi ya. Hi ya. Am I going to break it, or is it just going to? Oh, there we go. I did break it. There we are. I got some silver ore out of it. You see my brow? I grew it myself. Wow, this is Peter's mansion. Peter, very impressive. He has fuzzy dice on his car. Oh, I wish I could steal it, but I can't. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. What do you mean I can break through the back of his house here, but I can't just walk inside? Wait, is that an open door? But what do you mean I can walk through his wall, but not go through his open door? Peter! Peter, let me in, Peter! Stop! Oh. oh, that swinging animation reminds me of something I can't remember. Some kind of a uh, a dance move. Dunch, 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 dunch. I go back to pickaxing. Oh, coal. Uh, no. Was it right here? Here's my farm. I think it's the upper section that had the scooter. <laughs> oh my god, your foot! When you dance. I know, it's funny, too. It actually happens every time. Whenever I dance, I'm dooming my foot. I have to sacrifice it for the dance, man. Don't you have one room that has a note clip ability on? 
a, a no club, you mean? I mean, to do a quick shortcut through my garage so I don't have to walk all the way around to get in, I'm gonna be honest, I totally do. Where, aha, there's the scooters. I wonder if I can summon back scooter number one. Hang on. Did it? Okay, no, that is just three scooters. It was hard to tell from a distance there if there were actually all of them present, but... Uh, uh, scooter number one? Doomed now. Sorry, scooter number one. <laughs> anyway. There goes your perfect score on only feet. People are gonna look at my only feet pictures now and go, Oh, that one's broken! Minus a point. And then I'll only have 9 out of 10 now. Unfortunate days for Jane, dear. How will she work her side hustle now? What? Eee! Eh, eh, eh. Wait. Okay. I want this. Look, it's even... Yeah, I was going to call that a camo seat, but I think it's just muddy. Judging by the wheels. Can I hop in the back? I need to find the owner of this bike so we can ask them for it. Huh? Back on my scooter. Oh, look! Everyone's gathering out here for my welcome. Oh! Jane, dear, welcome to Duda's Village. That's me! They even got a band for it? Oh, I feel honored. Oh, my God. This Thomas the Tank Engine. Mayor looking guy? Of course it's Peter. Peter was the guy that owned the mansion. The first time I was elected mayor, 30 years ago, the village had over 100 inhabitants. Wow. Uh, can I not talk to this forest ranger? Oh, look at this nurse lady, though. She's got glasses painted on her face. Hello, nice to meet you too, Heidi. We've also got Grandma right here, Mary. Hello! You have grown since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're here. I always had a special fondness for you. Uh, Grandma, a little bit weird. Oh my god. I love this man. I, I think this guy might just be a random nobody because I wasn't able to talk to him. Amanda, though, does look pretty good. I wish I had her hair. Why, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Amanda, a forest service agent. My job is to protect the flora and fauna of the forests. Take care. Okay, Amanda. Oh, yeah, I cannot talk to cool hat guy. That's unfortunate. I can talk to safety hat guy. The hard hat dude. Honestly, if the entire village threw a welcome party, I'd be on high alert for cult activity. But, man, they're gonna shoot off fireworks for us, too, Emily. Come on, that, that's not cult activities, is it? Who actually throws welcoming parties like this for strangers? A dying town desperate for new residents. Whoa, what a surprise. Aren't you the one who just moved in? Welcome to Duda's Village. I'm the owner of Duda's Constructions. I'll help you if you want to build on a plot that's up for sale. All right. This guy's just wearing an old 50s bathing suit here. Just a little leotard. Oh, hi, Rachel. Walking around in schoolgirl uniform with a little hat. Uh, I, I love her skirt. Hi. Do you like animals? I'm the owner of the Animal Rescue Center, a place where you can adopt a puppy or kitten when you feel like you need some companionship. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Frick people, chat. We're just going to adopt an army of dogs and cats, and that's all we're going to have. I might already own one, but I could own more. They don't have matching robes. Yet. Yet. They have to initiate us into their cult activities first. She looks so man. Well, I think it's just the eyebrow look everybody's got makes them a little bit angry. 
Do you like animals? Before, nice to meet you. She's got her priorities straight. She doesn't know if it's nice to meet me because if I answered, no, I hate animals, then she would say, oh, bye. And she would not have thought it was nice to meet us. Hello and welcome to our little community. It makes me very happy to see you again after so many years. Yay! The villagers have organized a welcome party in the village square to celebrate your arrival at Dew's village, blah, blah. I'm here. I'm present. I'm prepared for my welcome ceremony. I, I don't think all of the villagers are here yet, though. Also, opening up... Because there's a social tab, so we can see that we are still missing some people. There is this lady who appears to be kind of suspiciously dressed. There's Petri down here at the bottom. Petri, you're wearing the wrong colors. You should be wearing blue. You need to go change. Thank you. We also haven't met this guy here with his little mint tie. We haven't met... Wait a second, this guy is walking around, but I swear I wasn't allowed to talk to him. There we go, we can talk to him. Is, is this Hulk Hogan? It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is a place to go. I also buy goods from your farm for a good price. Hope to see you soon. Okay, Matthew. Uh, brother. You can just retract the nice to meet you at any time. So you say, nice to meet you. I hate animals. Oh, never mind. Not nice to meet you. Bye. And you leave. This welcome ceremony is going to be you getting baptized in lamb's blood or something. It's going to begin and they're going to say, well, bring out the sheep. Man, they've also gated off the band here, so I can't walk over and converse with them. Hey, guitarist, hi, hello. I'm, I'm waving at him, I'm dancing at him, and he's just trying to not make eye contact with me and not look over in my direction. But he he knows I'm here. He, he, he's probably side-eyeing me, look, turning his head away, pretending not to look, but of course is taking little side peeks because I've got some good moves. He knows about your foot. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Does he? Also, is that a castle over there in the background? With the green lights? Hmm. Hmm. They're not even alive, but Five Nights at Freddy's like human robot band. Like a Chuck E. Cheese situation. Talk to him now. Oh, you're the new inhabitant, aren't you? You can visit my bar for drinks and food, all at the best prices. So long.
I'm hoping everyone in chat is currently dancing, by the way. Joining us on this party. Finale. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I feel the sparks from the fireworks fall down onto my skin. <clears throat> oh, right. My, my, my bed is on the, uh, first floor in the living room for convenience. What an experience. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that the music just the moment it hits eight o'clock it just da 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 and everybody breaks out into dance where they were standing. The fireworks shooting off into the air. The inability to adjust the music volume. Pumping it down to zero and nothing. This house setup is psycho. Look, I, I've set it up for maximum convenience. I didn't care about anyone, say, walking inside and going, Oh, good morning. I, no, I put it here because then I don't have to walk very far to just fall down asleep. There's also my kitchen, which is completely empty. No appliances. No refrigerator. I guess I keep my dishes under the sink. I don't think I see any handles on these other little counter surfaces. So, do they open for storage space? Probably not. I'm going to turn back up the music in case any music does happen to come on by. Hang on. I think some of the music there turned back on our ambient bird sounds. Or it could just be that they're so quiet that I, I just now notice them or they stop at night. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, appliances don't usually come with the house. I mean, some to, I guess it depends. I think most of the houses, not every house that I've moved to I know the current house that I live in has had a microwave already installed, but uh, it is partially because it is a built-in microwave versus a just set down on the counter microwave. I would imagine they are partially probably giving us minimal appliances too because we already got this entire house for free. No extra amenities that they've given. Where can I buy a microwave? I'm not sure. Maybe we can go down to the general store to check it out. Ask instead of a mini microwave, we can get a bigger macrowave. You can't turn on the oven and fill the house with gas, so that's cool. Fair point. Maybe we should go back inside and turn our oven on and then leave. Are you okay? I hope you are well. It would be great to see you again. Oh, Forest, Re Forest Service Police Officer Amanda, stop! Is, is she writing me? Is she interested, you think? 
Is this paper okay? They haven't written letters in a long time, so all of their stationery has been sitting around for so long, just out in the open, it's got a little bit dirty over time. <laughs> Amanda is clingy already, huh? Is that blood on the edges? It's probably not. Squirrel? Hold on. I want to catch Squirrel and keep that as a pet, too. Maybe we'll go ahead and spend a hot minute here in the morning cleaning up the... Oh, uh, thank you. Water your crops? Uh, done. Uh, check. I've finished. I, expert farmer, have already watered my crops. Uh, damn. I should get a doctorate in farming. Water your crops! Wait. It's watering time! I like that I can also, you know, spin around like a sprinkler while I water. Make sure I get everything covered up. Don't miss a singular spot of dirt. We want to make sure it is evenly moisted. Amanda's just excited because Supreme Cult Le Uh, because the mayor said you were into her. <laughs> Do you think Amanda would want to date me? Do you think she is interested in little old me? Oh heck, oh jeez. Oh, we can look over there too at the scooter station and note that all four scooters have returned. So the captured scooter number one that was stuck over at the little purchasable plot of land in the town, it's been rescued. I don't know who picked it up, but it's back home now. A 360 no, sco uh, no scoped watering. I, as farming professional, are able to make, or am able to make that extremely cool mu uh, move. Move. Echo prefers a barren sandy yard over a lush green grass field. No, 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 no. You think this is lush green fields? It's weeds. It is weeds as far as the eye can see. This is not nice tall grass. This is a bunch of trash garbage. I don't want this here. It needs to be removed. That way we can gather it up into our rucksack and harvest moon terms and sell it to the villagers because it's it's the good weed. Heck, all the soil needs plants to hold it together. And eh, the soil's got it. It's fine. I'll plant seeds there later. The soil is going to be all silty now. Nah, it won't. Because if it is, it'll get in trouble. And I will tell it that it's being a bad patch of dirt. And then I'll whack it with my hoe. So now we do some recycling. Drawing our empty plastic bottles, aluminum cans. Oh, I got an achievement eco-friendly. Oh, I'm friends with nature. Matthew's general store sells various seeds, fertilizer, cooking ingredients, and other useful items. Well, all right, let's go check it out then because it didn't let me the other day. Is there a point to murdering this bush? I'm using my reaper scythe. Oh, I got walnut fiber and sap out of it, hmm? Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't see any other bushes I can reap, but... Oh, well. The first strains are going to completely erode away my farm. I'll just run over here to the general store, buy seeds, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine! Was that corn? I don't think so. I, I think it was just sap and fiber. I did get a walnut, though. A sap bush? Yeah, don't you get your sap from bushes? And do I like spooky games? I do like spooky games. I don't play a lot of spooky games, and I don't tend to be a person that is also 
say, getting spooked by the spooky games. I don't play and go, ah, ee, ah. I go, ha, 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 I'm not really a, the type of person that gets scared from horror. And here's Anne. Oh, hello, I'm Anne, a mining expert. I'm the owner of the smithy in this town. Glad to meet you. Bye. I like her cool gloves. She also has the same hairstyle as Amanda. So apparently, I, I suppose ponytails are popular here. <laughs> Buff wife alert. Oh, heck. Oh, jeez. Wait, did I totally, I totally skipped out on grabbing my scooter. I right, uh, ran right past, or maybe I didn't run right past. The scooter's a little bit farther down, you see, right there. At the little billboard section, I think. I jump a lot for horror games, but horror movies do nothing for me, though. I can get tension built up from playing horror games. But it's still not intense fear to where I'm, I, I'm afraid to continue going on. You know, or I'm like, I can't go through that area. I'm too afraid. No, nah, I'm fine. It'll still make me jump, though. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't tell me I'm going to be... Huh? Okay. Well, now I want to be careful to never get my stamina low again. Number one, let's go. Whoops. Do you get... Oh, it's still going. The scooter, stop! Due to coin is the official currency of Duda's village, due to hyperinflation in the surrounding villages and the rest of the world, the villagers created their own currency. This is like a company village over here. You'll need Duda coins to trade with vendors. You'll earn Duda coins by selling your crops, resources, animal products, artisan and goods, and other things. So if I ever want to leave this village, I won't have any money that I can spend elsewhere. They've got their own mint. Totally a cult. Goodbye, Scooter! Be free! No, stop! I wanted to ride on this. Come on. Okay, come on. Let's go, Scooter. And it's screech around the corner. And we head over to the general store. And eat. Whatcha? Wait, whatcha? I rush inside. Imagine moving into a town and they're like, well, we have our own currency. Oh, no. Oh, peach seed. Lemon seeds. 2500 I don't have enough money for that. I've only got 763 Duda coins. Heck. Like there's also this wooden bucket down here. Well, I suppose I'm going to take some carrot seeds, which I totally saw here. Where did they go? Or maybe I didn't? Oh, how am I supposed to have carrots for everybody if I if I don't have any carrot seeds available to me? Oh. Oh. Well? Coffee. Let me look at all of our options here. We've got radish, which is three days to mature. Lettuce, five days. Broccoli, five days. Potato, six days. Which, with a chance of yielding multiple potatoes at harvest... Green beans, 12 days, chance of yielding multiple green beans at harvest. It's not a bad look. But then again, down here with coffee, it says plant these in spring or summer. And we get multiple coffees. So if we just plant a bunch of coffee seeds, we just keep this through all of the summertime. I guess they just don't care it at all. <laughs> they don't, just don't care at all. Oh. 
I buy as many seeds, coffee seeds, coffee bean seeds as I can, which I have 700 gold, which, or sorry, two to coin, which means 15 coffee bean seeds. I might need to figure out how I can get a snack, though. I don't think I can eat my manure. It's a big walnut. Can I craft this into food that I can eat? We can make a chest. There's a workbench at some point. We can make a bee house, oven, barns, cat house, stable, worm castings, furnaces, garages, greenhouses, extra large greenhouses, but not right now. We have to unlock those by progressing. Here's also our skill levels, which are all very low at the moment. Here are also our quests that we're on, which apparently we need to use our scythe to harvest, but we're not there yet. Would a slow-paced, spooky game about finding alien signals be okay recommendation to put in the recommend uh, recommended games channel? I'd like to watch someone more brave play it since I just bunker myself indoors. Honestly, you can recommend everything, uh, anything. Then I just have to take a look and decide if I would both be interested in it and if I think it would work well for streaming. Because there's always the extent to, for my streams, that not every game I think will work for various reasons, but I can at least take a peek if you post it there. As I continue speeding across the pathway, do you think I'll be able to till enough coffee spots on my farmland plot? I guess we'll go ahead and do back over the detail to my farmlands. And I watch cringe. Hello, welcome. Letter spotted. Oh. Oh. E e e e screech! Okay, we're back on our plot of land. There should be plenty of room for tilling up 15 spots here. One. As I keep an eye on my stamina, by the way. Two, three, and the farming is awfully slow. Four, that's five. Just as the watering is too really, the watering system took kind of a significant amount of time to stain there and water each spot, but I am tilling out some pretty large fields here. There sure is a lot of litter for a town with three people. I know, I don't understand why they're not taking care of their town better. Why do they not care? Why are they just throwing around garbage all over the place? I don't get it. Why does this say, what, food container? I can feed my pet? I guess this is a cat house. And then this is the dog house. I like I've even put a sign outside for gray. Look at that! Oh. He also manured his house, huh? Alright. I I take it. <laughs> Lol, you didn't even get food for dog. It's fine. You see how it has 98 out of 100? The dog came with food. Apparently, I don't own my backyard, though. This is all for sale. The area all around in front of it, mine. This little section, not mine. They purposefully closed those spots off so I couldn't expand my house myself. Sneaky residents, sneaky. This town is dying because only the assholes stayed and the other town didn't want them. Please accept Duda coin. We've sent you Duda paycheck. Please respond. And Thoth, hello, welcome. Screech. Screech.
Screech. Screech. We're off. We can do... What is this? What? Huh? Huh? Hmm? Why is there just... Ah! Oh no! I fell in the water! Help me! You better believe I tried to hit H to see if I could dance in the water. Answer, you can't. I wonder if my foot works better now today, by the way. Oh, uh, nope. Still broken. Okay, over to the scooter then. Screech! Oh, look at the waterfall off in the distant mountains. How nice. How serene. How peaceful. I should head over to the forest ranger station so I can say hi to Amanda since she is the only person that has sent me a letter. N not counting Peter to tell me about that welcoming party that they threw for us. Now, okay, apparently that's Kiko and Heidi's house. They live together? Hmm. Hi. Oh, pff. all right. I accidentally skipped his dialogue. I break in. Oh. My face? When I see a free meal, I reach down and I eat their taco salad plate. Unfortunately, I can't actually interact with that and eat it. Unfortunate. I can slowly walk up to their second floor though and admire their hat collection that's a lot of hats oh then i also think to my bedroom and i sweat nervously i have a lot of hats too oh look they've got a fancy picture for keeping coffee on their bedside table they've also just got an entire cabinet full of medications i guess heidi does live here, and Heidi was the nurse lady. So I guess she just keeps medicine on her private property? Wait, separate beds? I'm looking at their queen-sized bed. I guess there's a second queen-sized bed here, so they probably sleep separately, right? They're roommates. That just so happened to both have some queen-sized beds. I don't remember who Kiko was, though. Have we met Kiko? I'll look over at social. Ah, oh, yeah, he was the hat guy. I guess that hat guy and... Which makes sense of why that one floor had a bunch of hats on it. It's because he loves hats. Imagine having to pass through another person's bedroom to get out of the house. That'd be kind of awkward. You can also be in a romantic relationship and still sleep in separate beds, instantly making me think of one of the Harvest Moon games where that actually is the case. But one of the earlier Harvest Moon games, you have uh, separate beds. There was a forest ranger's place. Oh, it's there. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and take the t uh, a d detour over to this building. See what it is. Oh. Hello, it's me. Oh. Nobody's here. Unfortunate. Can't stop by and say hey when there's no one even in there. <laughs> me when I work as a nurse. Takes the Vicodin home. <laughs> what? You never know when someone's gonna stop by for a home visit. Also, Rennie Crab, hello, welcome. I have sleep apnea and I toss a lot. Separate beds has been a godsend for my marriage. All right, uh, definitely see reasons. I guess even an additional point too, if you have very different sleep schedules because of, say, the jobs, that could be another reason why you maybe sometimes sleep in a separate bed too, is that way you don't disturb the other person. Well, I can say, yeah, yeah. Not instantly going to be like, separate beds? There can be reasons for it. Got it. Check. 
I zoom around. We wanted the ranger station. Where even am I? Big red triangle. Oh, look, we're here already. I didn't even mean to arrive right. I, I meant to, but also didn't mean to. On? By hiring this service, your vehicle will be recovered and returned to your farm. I can get vehicles? Ooh, car for me one day? Not just a free... Oh, no. <laughs> Imagining the controls for driving around a car. The scooter is not terrible, but it is a little bit awkward. So picturing how a car would drive. Oh, there's also a lost items bin here. So I guess if you accidentally lose anything important, it just gets thrown over here. This is sad. Their aquarium doesn't have any fish in it. You think I could catch some for them? And gift them? Where is my scooter? Over here? Great. My wife and I have separate comforters in bed, and it's literally the best thing. You can burrito, she can burrito, no stealing! And then you can both share comforters together, and then burrito together on special occasions. A double burrito. Double wrapped. All the buildings are empty. Only sometimes a cult. Look, it's nine o'clock at night. Everyone's just gone to bed is all. Screech! This town is a Twilight Zone episode. Is that squirrel still here? Squirrel, stop freeloading and get off of my house railing. This isn't your home, this is my home. I enter. I throw myself onto bed where I sleep. Oh, I can make hen houses now. I could own chickens. It's an omen, Kako. The, the squirrel? Uh, you have to get out of this town. Hang on. Hold up. Back it up. Recycling is a skill? What sort of rewards do I get for leveling up recycling? You can tell which bin that an item is supposed to go in better now. Huh? Hmm? I just pick up trash from the ground and throw into recycling bins and I get skill for, for, for that? Wee! Wahoo! I dance on my bed. You get a better world, Kako. It's, it, is that reward enough? I mean, that is a pretty good reward, but I don't know if I have skill levels related to it. It feels like I should get something else. Like, otherwise, why even get EXP and it, levels? If that's all I get, just, I'll just keep recycling and call it a day. Almost sleeping in the Yamcha death pose. Oh, hello to you too, Gray. Bark, bark, woof. Oh, we need to make sure we check out the animal shop so we can see what kind of pets we can- Oh! No watering time. Oh, look! I think that's the girl with the green skirt that's going on by. Now I know who owns that. Just sliding away. Oh. Oh. That was sudden. Oh, hell yeah. I wish it happened a couple moments sooner before I started watering my crops. This rain sound is also loud as hell. Is it ambient? But, nope. It is not ambient volume. It's not music volume. It's not footstep volume.
My zoom button's not working, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, there it goes. Time to use that bug report feature. I'm not sure if it counts as a bug. I'll just turn it down on my volume control options then. Well then go ahead and put the volume sliders back up. The best audio channel. Unassigned. Ugh. I also like I'm paused here and when there was lightning and now it's just bright. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Lightning flash again for me. Another one? You have to upgrade your ears, obviously. Dang it! There we go. Here's another bug. Is if you're in this pause screen and lightning happens, the light doesn't fade away. It just stays. So it becomes a God's light flashbang rapture here. Slowly getting ever brighter as more lightning comes. Because then when I unpause, it all flashes away. And you can see those lightning bursts. Ooh. That just struck my farmland. I'm now concerned. Can you just send them the, the Vada's your report? I don't think they need to watch that much of it. Can I get killed by light? I mean, I can see the lightning strike, but does that mean I can get killed by it? I, I'm sweating nervously. I'm afraid. I'm concerned. Oh, you can get killed by lightning. Hold up your ax real high. Spin, well, come on. I have to plant all of my coffee bean seeds properly, giving it proper spreads out. As a developer, I love screenshots and clips when something is broken. I would imagine, even by extension, having well-described issues given to you and not just say, hey, this thing doesn't work with no further details, no additional information, no screenshots, no clips, nothing, and that's all it has. <laughs> Probably the worst of it. Wee, yahoo, wah! Yay! Woo! Hey, thing broken stuff, bye! Really, anytime you're doing troubleshooting of any kind, regardless if it is specifically tech issues or some other type of issue, having it well described helps a lot. And there we go. I like for the coffee bean seeds, I only plant one in the very center of the crop lanes. Which is not what I did for... I think these were radishes. Were they radishes? People have really bad memory, so they unintentionally describe it badly. Well, that's unfortunate. Makes things harder for person, like, if it's you in this circumstance. Trying to figure out what's up, what's wrong. We're back into very quiet void. I turn back up Harvest Day's sound. That way we have something again. Since the rain's over and now we're not overwhelmed by that. Do I have a fishing rod already? By the way, I have, oh, let me turn that back down. Never mind. We have axe, we have pickaxe, we have scythe, we have haul, we have rake. So I do not have fishing pole. We need to figure out who can give me a fishing pole so I can start fishing on the side. Oh, mushroom! 
who's ready to do some shrooms. Maybe I can go head out to a mountain area, a more forested re- Are those palm trees? That is a beach up there, and that is a little hook symbol. Let's go check out the animal paw print, which might just be the animal shop, and the hook there, where we might be able to get ourselves a fishing rod. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we zoom! My favorite request for purchase from someone was a new laptop. And in their business purpose was, it's a laptop! I was like, uh, yeah, but why do you need a fourth one? <laughs> because it's a laptop! And I... Oh. They've got security cameras out here. <laughs> Hang on, do you notice the, the security camera locked onto my scooter? Even Amanda in there is keeping an eye on that one. She's like, oh, hell yeah, what a sick scooter. Hi! Lydia's Ranch sells farm animals and animal supplies. Hens, cows, rabbits, goats, sheep, pigs, horses, and even deer. They sell deer? Buy or adopt? Wait, does... I'm not sure if this is a... I can also get this... Or if it is a replace my dog gray, do we adopt another animal and find out? No? Oh. Okay. I guess we're not gonna try to get multiple animals. I will buy and oh. Tennis ball? Can can I sell her some of my garbage so I can afford that? Looking around, I sell her a big walnut. Okay, she does not want my nut, it seems. No nuts for Amanda. Wait, this wasn't Amanda, was it? This is not. This is Rachel. I founded my animal rescue center five years ago, shortly after moving to Duda's village. And that's all she has to say. Are her feet clipping through the ground, or does she just have teeny tiny feet? Hmm. Sell them this nut! But it's not November. A billion dollars. We've also got a ball of wool. Can, is this it? Oh. I feel misled being told that I can buy animals, but it doesn't even show me any animals. It's probably because I don't have any animal houses, like a hen house, for example, built up. Then maybe it might offer me some chickens, but because I don't, it's not here. So it makes it look like they offer pretty much nothing. Oh, well, fire hose, animal shelter. Cat food, cat food, cat food, cat food, a couple of tennis balls, some canes, dog food, but no y balls of yarn on their shelves. Mm. Can I break in? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look, all the animals are running over to me. They love me. Oh, and look, I can collect their manure too. Yay, it's mine now. Wee! Tennis ball? Don't tell Rachel. I, s I close the gate. Okay, leave the gate. Okay, I close the gate. I keep tennis ball in my pockets. I hop on the scooter. I turn around. And I race away. The tennis ball is mine now. Are you stealing those poor orphaned animals only toy? Yes. It's Gray's toy now. <laughs> Gray's gonna love this. Stealing from the downtrodden. SMH my age, dude. Oh, come on, Gray. 
You're the one who's getting this ball anyway. I've stolen it for you. You, you've never had a tennis ball before, and now you'll be able to experience one. Oh, I crashed. Oh, no, help! I am crashing more than I expected to. I'm getting stuck on the railing sides. Frick. All right. How about the... Hang on. The huge fish sign on top of this building. Do you think I'll be allowed to buy kayaks? Hello there, sir. Sean. Um, Mayor Peter told me you just arrived to do this village. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. I have a small business in this village, the fishing store. <laughs> See you next time. Hey, that's where I am right now. You got simple fiberglass, Kevlar, and that's and then some worms. And that's it. If we had 55 cash, or sorry. Yeah, 55. I'm hovering over it and saw the 30 and said, wait a moment. But it's that I can sell it for 30. And it costs 55 to buy. I bet Gray would be able to taste the other animal's de depression spit on the ball. Oh. Well, then he can cover it with his happy saliva, then, instead. I peek through the window. Do you see anything illegal in there? Something that we could steal? I peek through the wall. Fragile boxes. Fragile boxes. This side up. Hmm. No, it doesn't... S Seems like there's a fork. Uh, it it's not a forklift. I forget what those are called for putting under pallets and the like. Unhinged caco game. <laughs> Is it this? Woochoo! I fling open the doors. Did I try riding into the water before or... Oh. Oh. Uh, hello? Reverse? Back up? Move back? Pallet jack. Got it. Uh, no. Mm -mm. I've lost my scooter to the seas. Wait, or have I? Maybe, maybe I can, uh, notice how I'm slowly moving it out of the water every time I hop on it. Maybe I can work it back out. Come on, scooter. Just, just a little bit more, Scooter. We're almost there and free, Scooter. I know we can get it, get out of the water. I'm also noticing. Do you think those are sharks or dolphins in the background? Can I start swimming out there and pretend that they are dolphins? Uh oh. Uh uh oh. This isn't me. Help, somebody. I'm stuck. I can't move! Oh no! I guess there's only one thing to do. Dance! Assuming control! No! Oh, I- oh, I hacked too hard. Well? Now, if we quit at this very moment, we would lose all of our day's progress, and we would get rain back. The other choice that we have is to just wait it out and see if the game will kick me back home. Just pass out. That's what I'm thinking that we're going to opt for here. We're just gonna hang out and see if it sends us back home at the end of the day. So until then, it looks like we're dancing. <laughs> so, Chet, Chet. How's it going? How are you feeling? Are you feeling like a little boogie beat? By the way, RRCPF, hello, welcome. Regardless of whether or not I am forklift certified, Jane Deere definitely isn't.
She's never driven a forklift in her life. Dance until you pass out on the beach. Time to watch more Code Lyoko right now, live on stream. I choose you, cheat engine! You speed hack times 100! Years start passing by. That's one way to progress in a farming sim. I made food, what happened? Yeah, we're stranded. I was trying to boogie my scooter out of the water there. And I bugged it, and I started just running into oblivion on my character. I hit escape, and she stopped. But now we can't move at all. So we're stuck here. There is no freedom. There is no hope. There is no button to reset my character's location, either. As I look here... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can use... ...to reset my position, either. No- uh, nothing. I see nothing. No clip? Nah. I dance with my scythe! Maybe we should report a bug? They're reporting... ...a bug feature. Probably takes me off to a website. Yeah, yeah, it actually links me to the Harvest Days Discord. So I would have to bug report it to their... Discord channel in order to tell them and it's entirely possible. They might know about the bug already I don't know. I'm not sure I guess I would have to report the bug to know or look around on their discord to see if somebody else has already reported it Anyway, we keep dancing. Hang on second option All right, we get we get Jane Deere in view here. Oh, whoops. I'm accidentally moving my mouse. Okay. All right. Ah, yes! Scooter in water and try to dance it out, but I didn't try to dance it out, though. I was trying to... Well, I might have said dance it out as just sort of a goofy exaggeration. But really what it is, is that I... I was trying to right-click, shuffle it out of the water to see if I would be able to ride on it then. Because as it was right now over there in the waters, when I was hopping onto it, I couldn't control it at all. But I noticed every time I hopped onto it, it would move it a little bit more out of the water. So I said, hey, maybe I could get it out this way. And then I started doing it too fast, and it bugged out and locked us in. Okay, let me see. I'm redirecting to my Cintiq right now. I'm controlling my camera with my Cintiq. I tap on my Cintiq now to lock in the camera angle. And then I draw. Okay. So we've got a red circle here. Can I flip my pen around for a racer? No, unfortunate. I grab the eraser tool. It's now a happy red circle. But the sun? Wait. I draw little lines out from it. I want brush. There we go. Yay! Yahoo! Wee! A drawing stream now. But wait a moment. What if we play Hangman? Huh? Hmm? Let me increase the size of my pen. Let me just draw across here. And here. And there we go. Alright, now I need to think of a word. Can we even swing our tools? We can. I can swing the tool. Hang on. Ah, wait. Maybe I can't swing the tool. 
Uh, never mind, I cannot swing tool. It, tool, I, I can hold a tool and I can dance with a tool. I cannot swing it. And is it season or series finale for Mob tonight? Uh, it would be the series finale. I have that noted in the watch party description, too. And it's unfortunate, Slime, because if we could use our tools, that would totally be a way where we could drain out our stamina and see if that would work. But no, N not an option. At least it's 7 o'clock at this point. All right. More missed. More missed messages. Wow, I hadn't even been looking at the chat. You're giving me a hard time about it. Dang it. Oh, I try my best. I can't get every message every moment of the time. Hell. I feel like Mob isn't ending on a strong suit. Yeah. Uh, okay. Word? What word? What word do I want to use? I... Okay. No, that one I feel like would be too obvious. Let me think of... Uh... Let me make sure I will spell it right and put down the correct number of characters here. Okay, here we go. Checking it. I'm typing on my phone. I'm searching it. I've confirmed it. Let me make the little marks. Better to comment less than less to be missed. Well, fewer Welly messages isn't better. Read this message to instantly win $5. This does not apply to anyone above the age of 0 0.01 seconds old. <laughs> oh, that's everybody. Or you comment more to have a higher chance. That's true. All right, E and U are the guesses. Um, E is a letter. We put it here. However, U is not one. You get ahead. Slime says R. There is an R in here. Right there. By the way, hello there, Thundermaker. Welcome. Hi. Okay. C. C is a letter. There it is right there. A is a letter as well. It's right here. And then as I look, a G is not one of the letters. You get a body now. A D is also not one of the letters. That's one leg. I roll for a P. You got it. There's your P added in. We've already gotten A and P used now. Get all the vowels, chat. If you think that's a good strategy, have at it. Try. Go ahead and try. It's your decision. In O, there is an O right there. What's going to be your next decision? Hmm? What are you putting in next? There's still spaces. A Y. There is a Y. And it is just one word. You, you think you know what it is, Doss? Are you going to go all in? You're also guessing L, and <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. You win, Chet. You got the word. It's lycanthrope. It's the werewolf. Wow. I guess it's lycan jump rope. Well, looks like that's gonna be a goob up here. Eh. That's hanging now. Oh no, he says. Oh, help, no! When does the player pass out? I have no idea. It's only 9.50 right now. So if I had to make a guess, it would be 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or 
whatever time you wake up in the mornings will probably be the times it resets you. But wait, I'm slime! I can't hang! The slime falls to the ground. Splat. Are we sure there's a pass out feature in the game? We have no idea, but I figured we'd opt for yes, there is a pass out feature. Because the only times that this game saves is when you go to sleep in bed, so I'm going to assume that it eventually forces you. And no, Thoth, I cannot. We, uh, I've already tried to cycle through my tools, and I can't use any of them. No tool usage allowed. I cannot grab out anything. Quick, draw a self-portrait using only geometric shapes. Are you saying you don't want to play Hangman again? Are you saying you hate Hangman? Come on, what the heck? Let me think of a different word to use. Okay. I've got one. Alright. Goob mad cause dead. <laughs> Yeah, because somehow I became Hank Goo, but I didn't like it. It's because you said like and jump rope, and that wasn't the word, Goo. Huh? Huh? Okay. I have put down the spaces. Ignore that they're not all the same size. Start guessing letters again, chat. I'm ready for Hangman Round 2. Start guessing. A red dot hint! That was an accident. Let me also move this over to the left a little bit. Okay. Brush. So, we say R. There is two R's here. And... Here, with the red dot hint. There is not an E, though. So you're gonna get ahead on that one. And there is not a K. So that's gonna be the body drawn down now. And you guess a D as well. There's the leg. And F as in flummox. Nope, not an option. An I? I don't think so. But there is an A, right here, here, and here. This is your last chance now, chat. You've only got one letter available, or else you're going to lose. That's going to be it. And yeah, we are now at 0 a.m. We're entering into the twilight hours. <laughs> ara, ara, ara. No, there's only one aura. Come on, dude. And, uh, little mouth. Little, uh, anime hair pieces coming out. They look like antennae, but that's okay. Let me grab white. And then shine, shine. Shine, shine. And there we are. I take a guess. Paranormal. Goob did it. Goob. The hero. <laughs> Actually, it was Paranorman. There we go. Goob. You got hanged last round. But this time, you did the sweep. Goob, coming in clutch. Solving. I knew watching all of those ghost videos would pay off one day. A champion. Close. 
All right. Can you win again, chat? Can you do it for a round three? As I fix my little hangman stand. I need another word first, though. Let me think. Let me consider. I typed this out. All right. Here we go. Let, that's right, let me thicken for a minute first. You leave me to sit for just a moment. That way I can get a little bit thicker. Make it far, Fig Newton. No one will get it. <laughs> All right, chat. Next word has been laid down. What do you want to guess for the letters this time? Hmm? I wait. Is, oh! Aha! We did pass out! That's it! That's the end! Okay, let me go ahead and clear out all of the sketching. <laughs> Yay! We're dead! We did it! We are still playing, though! I'm sorry. My word! Well, that's the end. The game said, hey, <laughs> Hangman stream win. Dude. We could play Hangman on Tuesday. Talking Tuesday is basically free reign to do whatever we want, right? We can play lighter games. We can Hangman it up. We can doodle. We could just do Hangman in Discord, honestly. I work on Tuesday. Well, you can at least eavesdrop. No, I guess you can't necessarily... Not guaranteed to be able to eavesdrop. Kind of depends on what you do. <laughs> Hangman Hangout! So basically a Discord stream, but on Twitch. Maybe close to it, but not quite the same, seeing as... On Discord, we don't have to worry about, say, DMCA. So we're able to, say, listen to any music that we want. What? Oh, that's right, Kako! I can watch streams at my new work. I might be able to join it on Wednesdays. I mean, even if you're only able to lurk on Wednesdays, that's totally fine, too, and also is totally great. I like being able to work, uh, lurk during streams. And now I hit OK. Uh, uh, OK. Yay! We're free! Oh, I didn't even make it to my bed. I'm just on the ground. Wait. I still can't move. The fortunate part is that now at least our game is saved. So I can just exit now. Which is this gonna... I'm not sure if this is gonna kick me to the main menu. No, it's just gonna kick me out. Okay, let me go ahead and restart it then. Yeah, at least it's saved, so we don't have to re-steal that ball or rewater my crops. Here we go. All right. If I load in, and I am still stuck standing around, though, that's the time to be horrified. All right. All right. We load in. It's loading. It's working. I'm switching. We yeah. Then we just play Hangman for the rest of the stream. God dang it! All right, we hit play. We go to Jane Deere's farm. And you got an actually cool, amazing IT job, and it's great. Oh. Congratulations then, Doss. It's nice to have a job that you enjoy and you like. As we load in, yahoo, wee hee, I throw my head into the air like character on the screen. I'm ready to farm. I, I, I'm, I'm ready to farm. Farming, farming time. Hello? Huh? Alright, thank goodness. 
Our legs have been freed. Right? I throw open the door. Gray, it's good to see you. I pet Gray. I also open my mailbox. We got a letter from Eva and Rachel. It's spring! In case you didn't know, spring is the perfect time for blackberries and raspberries. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with these little berries. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. You can also eat them. Tip, visit the forest west of the village. Eva, we're going to go berry picking today, Chip. And I've got news for you. New pets have arrived from my animal rescue center. You should visit me. I'm sure you'll fall in love with some of the doggies and kitties. Give them the life they deserve. Hope to see you soon. After we robbed her tennis ball from her, which is still in our inventory. <laughs> oh, wait. These plants are done. We just have to scythe them. Harvest them. Take it for ourselves. <laughs> Woof! Bark, Venusaur. Oh, silly gray. Eat you on your wolves. Woo! She saw hell and she still has that smile. I... Calm down, Harvest Days. I, I know. I got it. Don't worry. I saw the quest mark explanation there when I was looking at my journal earlier where it said, Hey, use scythe to harvest crops. I understand. I get the connection. Especially when I'm hovering over it and it says, hey, hey, a scythe here. I keep watering. I hope that I'm able to spin while I water too. Whee! She saw the drawings in the sky and is still okay. I saw the red sun gleaming with its big smile. I saw the mysterious goob fall to the earth and splat and then rescue everybody by putting in the the word at a guess. And he did it. Water. 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 And voila. But we don't need to water these crops. We harvest them. But I'm not dead. I can't be. I'm right here. I squint suspiciously at Goob. But... But what if he's not really here? I don't think pond water is healthy to grow crops with. Eh? Who is the expert farmer around here, huh? Me or you? I squint. That's right. I'm the doctorate farmer around these parts, so I know the right way to raise the crops, and pond water's perfectly acceptable. I sell my radishes for high dollar. I turn and I race away to get more pond water in my watering can. Hua, 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 cha ching filled. I, I wish, I wish I could bring Gray with me. Wait, Gray, I've got the ball for you. Oh, he's looking forward to playing with you. Go fetch. Look at him go. Yay, get it, Gray, go. Look at him run after it. He's so slow. He's painfully slow. I think he's just casually walking after the ball. He's just doing little hops the entire way there and back. He's tired, Akita Inu. And yay! I love that I was able to just take that tennis ball from the rancher's place, the animal shop. And then leave with it? He's got short legs. Hey, he, he could still run fast. You could see by the way he was running that he wasn't really running. He was, what, jogging, you might say? Did I throw anything else in the recycling bin? Uh, nope. Not if it's not recyclable. All right. 
We recycled what we can. And they said west of the village for the forest, which then I guess is the area over here with the big ponds. Is this weird looking spot up here that looks kind of gross watery, a sewage plant, a water processing facility area? I'm going to have to go investigate that too. Well, bye, Gray. I'll see you at the end of the day then. I'm racing over to my scooters. Here we'll be. And ha ha, I do a backflip. And we're off. This time, we're going to be sure that if we do ride into the water and it kicks us off the scooter, we will not hop back onto it. And then accidentally bug ourselves out to not be able to move. So let's see. Oh. All right, I've already shipped things. Thank you. Back, back, back up, back up. There we go. I want to do a quick town detour so I can do a quick stop by the police station. That way we can see if Amanda's there so we can say, hey, wink. Where was that? There's the hospital. Does that say town hall? It looks like it says town mall from a distance, to be honest. And I was going to be surprised going, huh? They have a mall in this tiny town? But no, 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 no. It is just a town hall. Eat, screech. I hop off. I, I hop off the scooter. We race inside. Hi, Amanda. Michael is the best work colleague you can have. And of course, the... The best husband in the world. Looks like Amanda's taken, Chet. No Amanda love for us. We cannot go run over and romance Amanda. Her husband will just stand between us. <laughs> They're looking for a third. Oh? Well, just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score, Kako. <laughs> All caps. <laughs> Honestly, Shrek. Much funnier that you did it in all caps. Just, you know, you look over and you scream, JUST BECAUSE THERE'S A GOALIE DOESN'T MEAN YOU CAN'T SCORE, KEGO! Shrek is so ready. He is excited. He is amped. Shrek's uncut 14-inch hog is here for some action. Hell yeah. I race off. Screech! We're heading into the forest. We're gonna pick some berries. And then we're gonna start throwing them at people to befriend them. This better not keep me from entering. Okay, thank goodness. For a moment, I was concerned. Oh! Bush spotted. Two bushes spotted. I leap off the scooter. Slowly. There we go. Aha! That's right, when I want berries off of bushes, I destroy the entire spot. The entire bush, just chop it all down. Rachel's Rescue Center houses homeless animals. Rachel has, been, has several dogs and cats to be adopted. Make sure you build a house for your dog or cat before you adopt them. Otherwise, Rachel won't allow you to adopt any pet. Visit Rachel and give them a new home. It's kind of weird to get some of these pop-ups after I've already visited them. But all right. I pick up, apparently there was also an almond on that blackberry bush. Kind of peculiar, but okay. Yeah, it, it makes it sound that we can have more than one pet. We just have to make sure there are multiple little pet houses. So we could totally, right now, get a, a, a cat. Because we have an open cat house, 
and we've got a dog that so that's in the dog house I wonder if I can make more currently or if I need to get up my skill some more yeah there's dog house unlock by progressing so we're not there yet Crazy cat lady RP, please. Unfortunately, because we don't have the cat house build available to us yet, we can't do it. We can't have a, every cat because we can't house every cat. I, I can prepare, though, by chopping down some trees. Then will be a little bit more prepared for when we are eventually able to build the cat houses. Wow! It, all it took was two trees to chop down and already I'm an apprentice lumberjack! It's so easy! Chet, anyone here who wanted to be a lumberjack at all? Anybody here that said, oh, look at that tree. Oh. If only I could chop it down, but I'm not a lumberjack. Well, you can, see. All you have to do is grab yourself an axe, bring it over to a tree, and just get working. Remove it. Destroy the tree. Gain lumberjack skills as a result. That means one day we can be a miner, too, from just hitting rock with pickaxe as well, yes? Oh, I... Yes, it's true, I can. More like, screw you, tree being taller than me. But King runs around to the different trees growing in the forest, saying, You're taller than me? I hate it! And he just starts chopping them down. And you're gonna head off, that way you can take a nap before the watch party later, because you're... Kind of tired. Totally fine and understandable. I hope you sleep well. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to grab that explicit message to DM you for when the watch party starts, but at, at minimum, I can send you a message. Sure. Though if you have notifications allowed on at least your phone, you will get a notification if you have joined and said that you're interested in the watch party event. And there's the very loud heartbeat. Thank you, stamina meter. Now I know. How many tree planks are we at? 49? Well, we're almost there. All we have to do is clear cut the forest out here. I will personally come to your house and nibble you on your fingers to wake you up. Don't worry. Okay. Sweat nervously. Oh, hey. There's that lady who I said had kind of a suspicious looking outfit. Hmm. Can I talk to her? There we go. Her name is Sarah. Hey, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Is that it? I kind of question her fashion choice decisions here. Okay, Sarah, if you say so. And I chop down this next bush. I want more berry bushes. It did say we can eat them as well, and then we could restore some stamina, and cut down even more berry bushes. Oh, look, lavender! Yay! I've been looking forward to meeting you, and now that I've done so, I have completed my social activity for today. Now I'm gonna keep walking off. You don't like her fortune teller get up? How close do you think I can get to the boar? I run after the boar. You can't escape from me. Come back. 
Hang on. Wait. What if I pull out my tennis ball? What if I show you my ball? Stop. I have ball. Please respond. I like how it pretty much stops running away from me. Like the moment almost I stop moving. Jesus, he's got a good eye on where I'm at. I turn back around and I run off. Can't chase after the boar forever. It's not going to be successful. I weep. In having no boar. Hmm, mushroom. <laughs> the boar is equipped with proximity sensors. He can tell I'm approaching! Oh! I gather up the crop goods. I gather up more crop goods. I run at the deer. Oh. I think it's probably, if I hold out right, do I look for him? If I hold out the tennis ball, I'm showing you my ball. As I'm running past Rachel screaming, I'm showing you my ball. Stop running. My ball's here, please! Don't you want to play with it? I'm gaining on the deer now, though. I'm almost on you, deer. I win! Ah-ha! <laughs> well. That's it. I guess the deer wins, then. Huh? Game? Oh, uh, my frames! What's happening? Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. It, it's fine. It's fine. Just, uh... Oh, it's happening again! Stop! My frames! Oh! It didn't like me trying to kill the deer. Help, Scooter! Free me! Ooh, oh, never mind. We're fine. Where's my scooter at? Kakko broke the game by approaching the unapproachable deer. Apparently. I pick flower. Oh. Oh. No. I have a peanut. Who wants a nut? I've got walnuts, peanuts, pineapple shells. No, wait, no. Coconut shells. Pineapple smells? What order does that song go in? Oh, there's my scooter. Walnuts, peanuts, coconut shells. It was smells. <laughs> Perfect. I got it. Oh, didn't mean to hop off of you, scooter. Come back. Can I leap onto it while it's moving? Yeah, essentially. Oh, <laughs> Gritty. Hi, Gritty. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Very appreciated. I hope you had a great stream. You were streaming The Upturned. I don't think I've heard of The Upturned before. It sounds like it's probably some kind of horror game, though, yeah? So, then Emmy. Hello. Welcome. And Flip Domingo. Hey. Hello. Who oh, is that Amazon woman? Why that was Sarah. And it is a silly horror game and actually was a lot of fun. Great. Excellent. Glad you had a good time. We're just over here hanging out in the harvest days where I'm Jane Deer zooming around on my scooter. We had a bug happen yesterday where I rode into the waters and I was trying to work the scooter back out, but I accidentally ended up bugging my character. I made her get stuck running. And then when I got her to stop running, I couldn't control her or move at all. And even when we passed out and reset our character back at home, I still couldn't control her. So I had to save and or I had to quit at that point. The game had already saved because I had gone to sleep, but... So here we are, the next day, scootering our way back home. But, regardless, thank you again, Gritty, for the raid. Very appreciated.
Uh, I'm sure that most people here know you. I point at Gritty regardless. He streams. He streams a variety of games, and he's pretty enjoyable to listen to. He has a nice voice, so if you need someone to lurk at, check out, and so on, there he is. My mom told me pointing is bad! You see this guy in chat over here? Right there? Approximately? Yeah. Yeah, this guy streams. You should check him out. You see these emotes up here? I made them. That one, the angry one, because he's getting mad at me for pointing. I also did that. Make sure you follow Gritty. I pull my hand away. I continue playing Harvest Days as I watch my scooter after I hopped off and it just kind of repowered itself. Point at these! Oh! You have to show me these first if you want me to point at them. Sorry about not doing the shout out sooner, but you got it like really fast though, Welly. What do you mean? That's great artwork, Kako. Do you mean the emotes or the hand? Because either way, I'll take it. Thank you. All right, here we are at home where I need. First, I need to make a little bit of space in my inventory. So I'm going to throw some of my stuff here into the bin to sell. I feel like I can't do anything with my nuts right now, so I might as well sell them since they sell for a good deal. Eventually, I'm sure I'll get a nutcracker or something, and then they'll be more useful, but right now, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Oh, God. I sell them. I add up here so I can make a chest. I craft it. Aha! Now I'm an apprentice artisan, and all I had to do is make one box. Let me pull out my one box. There we go. Oops. Uh, I want to put it down further. I want to, like, get rid of the manure and hold the chest instead. Put chest down hell. Once you place this structure, you cannot move it. Ooh. This is a really unusual placement system. Think it'd be okay to place right here? I guess. Like it's the exact same appearance as the shipping bin, I hope so. <laughs> I hope whoever comes by to collect my shipped goods doesn't confuse the two. Oh, I can color it. Okay, close that again, please. I can reopen it and make it black so it's goth. And then we can store away some of these items we've been collecting. Put away plants. Eh. We'll put away the mushrooms. I think I'll keep the sap and... No, maybe I will put away the fiber and sap because I have no idea if, it, if there's a stack limit you get on items. Because if there is, it's going to then take up more space in my inventory. The, the green looks like a ghostly chest. Woo! I'd confuse your new box for a pile of planks! But I worked so hard on it! I'm even an apprentice artisan now! Oh, oh. I'm gonna put away both of my worms. It's also interesting, when things go onto my hot bar, it counts it as a, a separate sort of inventory space, if you want to call it that. So I had nine worms in my inventory, and then one worm on my hot bar, which is ten total, but then it makes it take up more space. <laughs> I want to thank Goth Chest GF! Maybe one day, Goob. You know, you could make your own. 
You know, at Michael's, they have little, little small wooden treasure boxes. You could get one of those. Paint it all black. Maybe paint a skull on it as well. Maybe some little ghosts. And there you go. You'd have your own little goth chest GF. You could even paint some anime eyes on it and give it a wig. Shoddy craftsmanship! Oh, I'm trying my best. And Phil just doesn't appreciate it. I'm going to bed. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Goob. You're right. You are European. You don't know Michaels. You don't know that's a craft store. I'm sure you could just Google a similar craft store in your area or order some online. I don't even know Michaels, and I'm in the U.S. Maybe it's a regional type of place. If you've heard of Hobby Lobby, Michaels is essentially the same thing, just different business. And Michaels is absolutely not a local shop. I already know it's not a local shop. It's not only is it a chain, but I've lived in multiple states where it has been, so not doxed here. Yeah, Joann's is also a similar style of shop, but Joann's is a little bit more explicitly fabric-focused, though it does still have some hobby things. You used to work at a Michaels, except spelled differently. Or unless you just typoed that. Well, if you know the owner well, you get to call it Mike's. Wait, I also just noticed that that house image called it, uh, said rent? If I upgrade my house, am I going to have to start paying rent on it? Ugh. Oh. It feels like a scam, but I guess if I chose to do the remodeling, I have to accept the consequences. Good morning, Jane dear. I'm going to tell you a secret. Did you know that the mountains are rich in resources? Stones, ores, gemstones, and much more. Besides, from the top you will have a beautiful view of Duda's village. You should visit them one day. That sounds like we might as well go. Anne's telling you to take a hike. Anne looks at me. Unhappy man wants to get rid of me. Or is Anne discreetly telling me a meeting location site for their cult activities? So she's saying, yeah, take a hike. Meet the cult. Join us. Is that the real trick? Great! Go fetch! Okay, for a moment, I thought Gray was just gonna keep standing and be like, uh, Bark, I don't feel like playing right now. No, thank you. I'm running closer to him, so I don't have to wait as long for him to drop the ball back down to me. Come on, Gray, you got it! You can do this! He just laid down. He turned back and ran to me. He laid back down. He's saying, dude, I don't want to freaking play with that tennis ball. It's boring as hell. I have no interest in it. Oh, uh, okay, Gray. I stole this ball for you, but I guess we don't have to play. I refuse to give in to your misbegotten ball. Except when you finally got to it, you were too tired to even pick it up. Gray doesn't have- What? Now Gray's coming over to me saying, Now I'm looking forward to playing with- Play with you? Misleading! I don't believe you now. I shake my head in dis disappointment. At Gray. He doesn't notice, though. He just continues to stand nearby with hearts flying off of his head. What a good boy. Oh! I'm like, turn.
turning around trying to find the sun. And I find it and it just this boom overtakes me. How dare you taunt me with this ball when you too perfectly when you took two perfectly fine ones from me. But but I wasn't the one who gelded Gray. He was already like that when I got him. By extension, if we go over to the animal shop as is now, I think all of the animals are gelded there. They've all been snipped. Oh, and now he's barking at me with his fury. I rolled a geld Jane Deer. You're old a three. So you were unsuccessful. And regardless, you can't actually geld me. A critical failure, I accidentally geld myself. You didn't critically fail. If you had critically failed, you would have rolled a one. Now I understand why dogs are obsessed with fetching balls now. It all makes sense. It checks out. They're trying to imply that they want balls back. Frick the number one. I take three, the yellow scooter this time. Witching! Okay, they were talking about the mountains. Do you think this is what the mountains are? It looks like cave. Screech! Eee! Screech! It could be the rivers or the waterfalls that we're seeing there too or the mountain area. It could be the area here. Maybe we'll... Is this car? This has a little hand holding a car? Is this where I can look at some vehicles for me don't go chasing waterfalls i chase the waterfall i slip and fall into the waterfall i drown instantly dying all of my stuff drops to the ground everybody else looks around asking where the heck jane deer went she hasn't been seen in a week and then i come back as a ghost and haunt everybody and make them very unhappy Okay, two choices and directions. This is the way for the hand car. I opt for the handheld car. D little decorations that I can place in my house of tiny car. That's for me. A tunnel. The vehicles! Alex's dealership sells vehicles. Cars, pickups, Four by fours, tractors, harvesters, and much more. What? It looks like it is through this tunnel that I want to go. So not there to the left. Which looks like it probably enters into this region. Or is the way you would go to get over there into that red rock area. We go through the tunnel for the vehicles. Quick, go buy a fancy sports car! All farmers have at least one! Can I get a fancy sports car truck? Can I have a Mercedes? In truck form? And do this constructions. Uh, this is where the little car image is. It has to be around here somewhere. I enter in this shop. Nothing. Nobody's here. Uh, oh, wait. There he is. Here's a guy. Uh, can I talk to you? Holding a house on an unoccupied plot is a good way to attract new inhabitants to Duda's village. Oh, so that when we were looking at that one empty plot in town, if we had the choice to build a house there, do you think it actually would have ended up as our house or would it have been his? Hang on. Did he bring some coffee in here? Well, are all of those cups for him? Did he just get himself four cups of coffee? Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? It seems like a lot. And apparently he just sells materials. So we'll leave him alone. A man I 
after my own heart, Goob says, pulling out his four cups of super mega-sized coffee. Lost item? Hand it in at the police station or sell it. <laughs> now I could turn this in for whoever lost this vinyl record. <laughs> or I could make money off of it. Hmm. You say only 50 bucks, but uh, I well, actually got 390. That's not, that's not terrible. Be a criminal. Or don't. Hey, finders keepers. It's the law. Looking around? Hello? Vehicle shop? I thought this was going to be it, but it still has it as a question mark. I haven't had... Or I think I did have a pop-up for... Pop-up for... Duda's construction, right? But I see no signs of... Alex's vehicles. Maybe it's not here yet? Could either be that it's not implemented in the game or it pops up later on in the play. I'm not sure. Is it now lost since you took it or was it already lost? I think it was lost. I'm not sure how you would qualify it now that I've picked it up. If you want to say it is not lost anymore because I have located it, but it is still lost for the owner. Wait, here's the garage. Aha! The map is just not particularly accurate with its location. Why do they have a robot sign? A dealership. Select the vehicle you would like to sell. I have none. Steal a vehicle? I steal this one. And I drive it through town. Hi! We've got truck 10k! Oh, that's way more than I have. Same with this harvester, cedar, sprayer, fertilizer, spreader, four wheel drive, ATV, ATV pink, cy cyber car. I'm glad I can drive my Tesla in game. I will crash it, and it will instantly explode into a thousand pieces. I throw my tennis ball into the window of the cyber car, and it doesn't bounce off. It crashes straight through and gets lodged in the window. You cannot pull it out. You know what this totally reminds me of when I look at those prices? Is when I was much younger... There was this uh, cheat program that I downloaded that was called something like Cheatomatic, and I think on my, as for the little icon that I had on my desktop, I had named it Cheesomatic because it had a little little cheese icon, and you could use it to search for values in the game, and then modify them. So I remember playing. This village simulator game, I don't remember what it was called exactly, but you had this little town of island villagers. I think I used it for fish tank simulator game too. I used it for various games personally on my computer, but those are just a couple of the ones I remember in particular. And I would search for these values and I would go, yeah, give me a hundred billion points, please. Thank you. Cheating in a fish tank? Yeah, I had to give myself all the points so that way I could just casually have everything to buy any fish I wanted. Kako, why does the map look like lungs? What if we're inside the body? What if we're inside the body of the world? We are actually inside of somebody's lungs right now. Oh man, that could be me one day. Oh, what happens if we drive in front of it? By the way, hello there, Salvage Tom. And I don't think it was in San Aquarium. I feel like in San Aquarium was a... 
Oh, he just honks at me. I stay here. I think in San Aquarium... I could be wrong, but it's more of an... That one is more of an arcade style where you're in a tank, but you have to eat other fish and the like. Whereas a fish tank sim that I'm thinking of is a little bit more explicitly. You can buy fish, you can raise fish, you can decorate your tank. But I, I don't remember. So I, I, I just don't remember, so I can't answer. As you say, you don't eat fish, so I have no idea. Honk, honk, move it. No, I'm busy. You, you go around me. Come on, I'm a pedestrian, and it is absolutely not, or unless you're referring to Insane Aquarium, which I don't think the Insane Aquarium was a Facebook game, but it could have been, I suppose. And Fish Tycoon sounds like it is a, uh, might have been more accurate, unless you're saying that Insane Aquarium is just Fish Tycoon. I don't know. I need to farm these crops. Move, Grandma Honk Honk. Gonna keep yelling at me? Hiya! <laughs> and then I keep going as soon as he gets out of my way. Wee! <sighs> this. This game needs music, or it need it really needs to adjust the sound volumes, so that way the sound effects, UI elements, and the like aren't super loud. That way you can actually have your ambient volumes higher, so you can actually hear the birds chirping, or have some music so it isn't just empty void. I hope that's something that they're working on. Because the game is in early access right now, so I won't instantly put my finger going, This game's missing things! Because it is an EA in the end. Caught on CCTV, one million dollars in damages. Unless I cheat engine the CCTV footage, I edit the values, I make it appear as somebody else. Are there horses in there? Hmm. Are there any animals in this shed? No, it looks like it's just a woodwork shop. Be honest, which game isn't in early access in this day and age? For real, says GB. Hey, hey, Kinseed. That came out of early access on the same day that Dwarf Fortress was released. So, that's one game. Oh, and Pope. Hi, Pope. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you had a nice stream. Appreciate it. Oh, you're playing Subnautica Below Zero. It and they totally had that update fairly recently, yeah? That applied for both Subnautica below, or sorry, yeah, below zero and the normal Subnautica to give it some sprucing up, make it a little bit more workable. I also love this little tiny figure that they've got on their TV. Just a little Funko Pop figure of themselves. Oh boy! I love Funko Pops! Yay! And I did say Kinseed Grav because I mentioned that it is out of early access. It's free! Cake? Um nom 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 It's my cake now. Hell yeah. Let me just jump up here. Ha ha! Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Eh. Is my chocolate cake now? I dance to assert ownership. 
My cake, my cake. Da 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 da. da. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Moment of concern of, uh-oh, I sure hope I can actually get off of the counter now. Oh, yeah. Fish Lord, did I actually say hello to you, by the way, when you first popped in and I read out, I'm pretty sure I read out your message even, and I forgot to say hi? Well, hello there. <laughs> no, but I lurk here. Sneaky, like a fish, popping your head out when required. Are these a bunch of bees? A bunch of bee boxes that they have placed next to the horse shed? Well, if you say so. Oh. I went mad looking for a, an entrance in an iceberg and found a treasure cave I didn't want. It was a stream. Well, at least you know about treasure later on. But bees! Yeah, just lurking out there, harassing all of the animals, I'm sure. And voice box! Hello, welcome! As I peek around, let's proceed. Screech! And a screech! We go on! Oh, hang on, it's Paul and Mary's house. Are they even in right now? Scooter? Hop off scooter? I get off the scooter. Every time, so so often the scooter will just keep going after I jump off. And yeah, at least I have my money now. Oh my god, they've become one. Can I jump in here? I jump on the bed. I assert dominance over Paul and Mary. It looks almost like I'm trying to slap them too with my left hand. Ha-cha! Ha-cha! Take that! Maul and Perry. Maul. Perry. Either one. Combined. I think these are supposed to be hay bales. But I'm not sure if they have had a texture bug here or what. They look like giant pink marshmallows. <laughs> giant marshmallows. Hey, hey. Who wants some to, to, to roast some marshmallows here in chat? Hmm? Hmm. I put giant marshmallows on big stick. And I hand them out. I, I give one over to Welly. I give one over to Slime. I throw one directly at Voice Box's face. Where do you think their pigs went? Uh, huh? Pig marshmallows? I'm concerned. They might be cute if they weren't made of pig, but they were just made to look like pigs. And now I just suddenly picture some kind of kid's cooking craft project where it, you take one big marshmallow and then you take, I don't know, frosting or something and you decorate up the marshmallow so it looks like a little pig. Well, anyway, we speed off. Hang on, hold up. Did I hear someone saying something? Hello? Hello? I thought I heard singing for a minute there, but I suppose not. Well, I drive back forward. I keep going. Do 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 just a little bit further away to get back home to my house. As I wave to the passing town. I'm forever gonna remember now that op opening sequence. The fireworks going off, music blaring, people getting down into their cult dances. It's quite a day. I slam my scooter into the fourth one, 
driving over it, saying, get out of my scooter, please. And then I do. We're home now. Hi, squirrel. I see you're hanging out in my house again. Is this another stink line manure? Well, yes. Dog's just going to the bathroom right next to his house. But I like it also says Gray's sleeping with all of disease coming off. But he's also just standing in the doghouse? Gray, you, you can lay down in there. You're all right. We'll, we'll leave him, I guess. I go back inside and I sleep in my bed. Ah, uh, comfortable. Oh! Well, we got a lot of stuff at this unlock. We've got a small barn. We've got a mayonnaise machine, bronze hoe, rake, and watering can. And foraging level up, the scythe consumes less energy. You have reached player level one! Yay! I'm more powerful now! The ultimate farmer! That's me! Wee! A new day. However, to be honest, I know we're only at three hours, which is significantly shorter than usual, but I think I've had my fill from this game. It is rough around the edges. I think there are some components of it that seem like they would be enjoyable, nice. I think it as it is in early access, it just needs a little bit more time and polishing. Uh, especially in the way of sound, I think it would help a lot if it had m better sound balancing and had some music playing because it feels just very void empty when there's just nothing. It's nothing. But Thank you, everybody, for coming on by to watch. I appreciate everybody who has resubscribed and have given bits. And thank you again to Gritty and Pope for the raids. Very appreciated. Now, I'll, I suppose I'll also go ahead. Is there anyone online that I want to raid? Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Lawless is on currently. We'll send her a raid. I like Lawless. She's great. She's playing some d and I believe. As I hit the enter button. So, everybody, thank you for coming on by to watch your great hangman stream. Yahoo! Okay, so... As a reminder, Wednesday, Dwarf Fortress, 10 a.m. Tuesday, Talking Time, where we chat. I'll see about having a webcam set up, too, so it won't just be empty starting soon screen void, yeah? Yeah. Thanks for the stream. No problem. You're welcome. Dwarf Twarf's Day? Dwarf Fortress every day? I become a Dwarf Fortress streamer? Ooh. And you're, you're asking about what was the last hangman? It was the one that got cut off was going to be audiophile. And now there will be no audiophile ever again. Well, have fun with D&D &D with Lawless. Bye.